Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. My name is Robert Movitt and this is the Nemo 200 underwater video camera housing. I've been making these for quite a while and I decided to put together a little video to show you how you can make them yourself. This is an interesting camera housing in that it uses almost entirely off-the-shelf materials. You can get most of this material in a hardware store or a plumbing supply house. There's only a couple of the items that you have to fabricate yourself. Um, I'll go over them. But let, let's go over the features of the housing. This is made with a uh, uh, a seaboard or starboard material for the the arms and for the top plate. It's a half inch thick. It's extremely wonderful material for a marine environment. Um, it, uh, it won't won't rot, rust, peel, delaminate. I, I I recommend this highly. Also, if you drill your holes a little bit smaller than the bolts, the bolts are snug and and you don't really even need any nuts. The the main housing is from a six inch well casing. Uh, PVC. These are stainless steel latches uh, with the locking mechanism. This is a one and a quarter inch uh, PVC pipe with uh, with the caps painted. Stainless steel bolts. You have stainless steel screws going through the top. There is a fiberglass uh, mounting plate that I made uh, from a mold. That I'll show you how to make that attaches this very securely. This is the lens cradle and it's also something I fabricated but it's very easy to do and it comes off easily this is a acrylic lens I left the paper on this is the front of the camera housing this is a little mounting board that slides in and out you can fit uh, many types of cameras you can make these as long or short as you want also this PVC pipe comes in different diameters so if you have a much larger camera you can use this design and make the same housing for a larger diameter and fit almost any camera that's made. Uh, this is inexpensive, uh, actually flimsy masonite and it's flimsy on purpose because if you're out in the field and you want to add your camera with a different hole you can make a hole with a little pen knife if you need to. But I've mounted, this works with a, a Canon UV or Canon uh, H, excuse me, a Canon Allura it works very well and these are just metal washers with uh, hot uh, glue and painted and it works very well I'll show you how to make the groove in, in your, your front in the back you're sealed permanently with polyurethane uh, sealant 12 stainless steel screws and a little piece of neoprene on the outside to give it a little cosmetic appeal like I said you can make almost all of these with with hand tools or, or minimum uh, machine tools like uh, you may need a router uh, and a jigsaw and a drill uh, but basically that's about it and a handsaw and I'll show you how to make these Th this is this is very low cost the materials you could make retail most of this materials for everything is about sixty dollars so it's very low cost um, you can, like I said, use almost any camera in, in this design. Uh, you can go to 200 feet with this. Um, the uh, You're going to be using a, a well casing that you're going to be getting short pieces from a, a supply house or a plumber that has some excess left over. When I made these, I had to buy 20 foot sections of well pipe. It cost me several hundred dollars. Of course, I could make 20 or 30 housings from one piece but if you can get a scrap for free or you could offer the uh, the plumber or the supply house a few dollars a foot for just to get a few foot section that they have left over and if you have a three or four foot section you can make uh, three or four housing so once you set your jigs up to make your, your your housing once you've done that you've done most of your work so you can easily make several more and, and sell them to your, your your friends and dive buddies and recoup almost all your costs or, or actually more than your cost um, like I said, y you have the ability to make different sizes because the well casing comes in different sizes. And it's possible you could even go deeper if you wanted to reinforce the center with a, uh, uh, you could have a small steel pipe to go inside. But that that's the, uh, the introduction to the Nemo 200. Uh, let's get started in showing you how to make the individual parts.